I came to work with the Philippine Red Cross from a country background. We have only 20 people that live in our little town. And frankly, if we didn't have volunteers supporting us in our little town, we couldn't exist. So the whole concept about volunteering is very keen to my heart. And I think, well, why not volunteer overseas as well? Every year, a thousand Australians volunteer overseas through the Australian Aid Programme. They perform everyday jobs in some of the most extraordinary workplaces on the planet. In Cambodia, life is tough for children with disabilities. Many come from families living on the very edge of poverty and have no access to therapy or education. Komar Pikar Foundation is a small organisation aiming to make a big difference in their lives. So in the daycare centre, we're providing support, you know, like uh, special education and physical therapy, uh, social activities, uh, activity for daily livings. Well, interestingly, I think children are the same no matter where they are uh, in their personalities and the things they enjoy. So since we start the, uh, the Centre for the Children with Disability, we can see the change because the progress in the physical and emotional and uh, mental uh, developments. The reason why we want to have Australian volunteer uh, with the Comapica Foundation because we don't have the expertise, uh, you know, like the specialized expertise like occupational therapies, like what our volunteer have. It's incredible to see that just a little bit of support can actually make a huge difference in the lives of the families and children here. The Philippines is battered by more than 20 natural disasters a year from typhoons to floods. Red Cross is there every time, helping people to get back on their feet. With uh, the disaster trend that we are currently facing, the challenges that we're facing in the country now, um, we need more people to help us. Several Australian volunteers are supporting Red Cross chapters to strengthen disaster management services around the country. I'm working at the Philippine Red Cross in the chapter development area, working with some wonderful people. Warehousing and logistics is a very important part of uh, disaster relief. Uh, you get everything from large corporations donating truckloads of hygiene products, soap, laundry powder, that sort of stuff, right down to you know, the, the, the family that's struggling to get by themselves, bring along a couple of cans of sardines, a couple of kilos of rice. It's pretty, pretty humbling at times, actually. Water safety is a critical issue in a country with over 7,000 islands. Philippine Red Cross has established its first surf life-saving service in Boracay. We're trying to make a splash. We're trying to create a model here that is one of water safety. We want to make all levels of the island's administration and all levels of the community aware about the importance of, of drowning prevention and water safety. I'm very, very happy if I'm going to help to save the life of people. Maybe it is just, just very, very proud of myself that I'm going to help with the people here. While Red Cross helps people to live safer and healthier lives, another organisation supports small businesses that enable women to provide for their families. Uh, before I came to the Philippines, I was working in a finance consulting background, having done business and economics. And I decided to come to the Philippines because I really wanted to work in microfinance. Microfinance is providing um, a lending program to poor households. It's micro because we started very, very small amount of loan, basically a hundred US dollars. Because when I started, Melvi Rays used a $100 loan to create a thriving garment business that employs 20 staff and enabled her to find safe housing for her family. Having a loan has meant they can now send their children to school, they can now um, guarantee that their family has three meals a day. Through everyday work in these life-changing workplaces, Australian volunteers are helping people to live healthier, safer, and more sustainable lives. And unlike the pay, the rewards are immense. There's a fantastic spirit in the Philippines of volunteering, and there's a great spirit of helping others, cooperation. 
And that's what's really attractive about the AVID programs because what they do is they say it's all about sharing your skills with others so that they can do the job after you've left.